Hello everyone and welcome to our new video update. After a few videos concentrating on features of Kingdom Come, this is gonna be more traditional update about the status of the game and the new stuff that we made. And since it's quite a few months since the last one, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. We are close to the finish, so we are extremely busy at the moment. We finished the internal alpha, which means that we now have all the features in the game, the whole world is built, and all the quests and most of the assets are in it. And as you can expect, when we put all this together, Everything broke and now we need to fix it. Which is exactly what we are doing right now, we are optimizing. Uh, just to give you a glimpse of the scope of the game, there are hundreds of thousands of objects in it. We have 50,000 entities like pickable items, stashes, interactive objects, doors, beds, ladders, animals, sounds or lights. We have almost thousands unique NPC in the world. And now we need to optimize it. We need to delete everything that's not necessary, compress the rest, optimize how it's kept in the memory, how it's loaded, saved, etc, etc. And that's a quite a big challenge. At the same time, we are working on the console ports. Uh, both PS4 and Xbox One are running, but we still have a lot of work ahead to fit everything in the memory. PC players are usually afraid that the console ports are compromising the PC version, but I wouldn't say this is the, our case. Uh, console versions are forcing us to work harder on the optimizing the game and Kingdom Come is developed on PC primarily and ported to consoles. And optimizations on the consoles will help us to make it run better on all the other platforms including the PC. Skipters are currently hard at work on quests, of course. Uh, we plan to have around 80 quests which may still change but all of them are now in the game uh, in some stage. It's much more than we originally planned. Uh, generally the whole game got a little bit bigger than we originally planned or set on Kickstarter. Which is a good thing for you, but more work for us. Uh, we wrote even more quests, uh, around 100, but we had to cut some of them in order to be able to deliver the game. And sadly, a few quests that didn't make it for now uh, were from the female character line that we promised as a stretch goal on Kickstarter. But don't be sad, uh, we will release them as a DLC that's gonna be free for the backers, uh, together with some other quests and stuff that didn't make it. Currently, we are getting all the quests to beta stage, which means that they are complete with all possible walkthroughs and all the assets. Skipters, testers and designers are crunching to make it happen. Uh, just to give you a glimpse, so far we have fixed more than 10,000 bucks and we have 3,500 still open. And these numbers are going to be even bigger in upcoming months, so there's a lot of work, uh, a lot of QA that we need to do. Designers are playing the quest they wrote and fixing all the issues, tweaking dialogues and balancing the difficulty. It's a lot of work, we wrote 650,000 words in the script which is more than Old Testament, which has uh, 620,000 words. Or the first two books in Game of Thrones series together, uh, and we wrote it faster. We've also finished recording of all the cutscenes for the game. Uh, for those who are concerned about the importance of story, uh, we have three and a half hours of cutscenes. Uh, that's a lot of story. We recorded them in about a month, with more than 50 actors from all around the world. And all the actors were actually playing together in the scene and the motion and voiceovers were recorded at the same time. Uh, this is very important. It means that much better results than motion capturing with stunts and recording voiceovers in a studio later. And it's a really huge difference when the actors are reacting to each other, they are there together and they are actually moving. Uh, the acting is really, really much better. Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog! Our character artists are completing all the assets for our character system. Uh, in the beta we had only a few types of characters and some of them were quite old handmade models. Uh, so now all the characters are scanned with our proprietary 3D scanner. We scanned 130 photorealistic heads and now we are working on the hair, beards and of course also on facial animations. Uh, those will be added after we record all the voiceovers. We are also adding a lot more armor types into the game. Uh, there are going to be hundreds of combinations of different setups. Just have a look at the amount of assets that we had to create. The same applies to weapons. We will have more than a hundred of different weapons. Uh, tens of different swords, maces, hammers. 
Uh, we'll have pole arms and different types of bows and arrows, falchions or sabers. As I said previously, most of the art is done and artists are now optimizing. The whole 16 square kilometers world is in the game. Uh, it's a lot more than 9 square kilometers that we originally promised. And in the last couple of months, we also created hundreds of concept art, icons, lots of maps, illustrations for the codex, portraits of the backers, and also hundreds of items for the game. We also recorded all the symphonic music for the game with large live orchestra uh, in one of the best and most beautiful concert halls in the world, uh, Rudolfinum. And also Gregorian chants in a church. It was awesome experience. Uh, we have now one and a half hour of live music, mostly for the cutscenes, and this is not counting additional hours of procedural in-game music. And since we had a feature lock, we also added lots of new features on the last minute. One of the biggest ones are pole arms. It looked very problematic at the beginning. Uh, we thought that they will not make it, uh, but in the end it's in the game and it looks quite good uh, and much better than I expected actually. And finally we also have hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, and surprisingly we have quite a few combos that let you fight successfully with an armored opponent, which is something I didn't expect as well. It's also finally possible to fight on a horse, uh, but it's gonna be simpler than I originally planned. Uh, mostly it's my fault, because I wanted to have a horse with autonomous AI, something like a Tesla autopilot with four legs. And we spent months working on this, uh, but in the end the result wasn't good enough and the slowdown meant that we didn't even manage to start on special horse moves for combat. The good news is that we have at least uh, horseback archery. I didn't even count on this one, but in the end it was simple and quick feature and it works great, uh, so it's there. One of the most complicated features is combat AI and combat movement. Uh, we were working on the AI for multiple enemies, on their tactics and maneuvers, and we completely redesigned the previous system. And then there are a few new cool features like book reading, that is not just your average open book and see some text kind of mechanism. Uh, you'll be surprised how cool it is and that there is much more to it. Uh, there's also a little mini game where you will be actually writing medieval manuscript for one of the quests. Programmers were hard at work on perks and skills for our RPG system and also achievements and statistics. Uh, this may seem like something a little boring and simple, but in reality it's a gigantic and very complicated task. We have more than 100 perks, lots of skills and some of them were really really complicated to implement. Finally there is also proper skydom in the game and the night lasts correct amount of time, which is great, no more 16 hour night. Uh, and the skydom is a good feature for astronomers, you can watch medieval night sky uh, in the game at the proper date. But there are also some things that didn't make it. Uh, the most painful is blacksmithing. Yeah, blacksmithing, I know. Uh, I had a very cool idea how to make this, uh, but it was even more complicated uh, to implement than alchemy and there was no chance that we would be able to deliver it. So we had to go uh, and trust me that it cost me quite a few new grey hair. Uh, so in the end there is a sharpening minigame uh, where you can repair weapons. We also added repair kits so you can fix broken armor and weapons as you travel. Another, and I have to say that I'm still not over this one, is a dog companion. Dogs are in the game, but we realized that to make a proper combat system and AI for them as a companions, uh, it would require a lot of additional time uh, that we don't have. So I had to make a decision if we want to have a companion that can't fight and is practically useless or to not have any. And I decided that it's better to not have any rather than to have a bad one. So you can see that we are very busy, uh, there are tons of work behind even the tiniest features for the game and we have to make a lot of quite tough decisions every single day. Uh, but it's finally coming together, that's a good thing, uh, the game is there, we have all the quests and it's shaping up pretty well. We are also working on back rewards and some swag. Most of the stuff for the backers is already designed. Uh, the coin is already in production. It's a handmade piece of art created by my former colleague, because I used to be an artistic engraver, who works for big mints on those quite expensive collector golden coins and medals. 
and it's going to be the same quality so it's going to be really a collector's thing with a lot of value. We also have a final version of the figure. Uh, it's all metal, 10 centimeters tall, beautiful knight designed by our lead artist Mikhail Poprotsky. And it's quite a difference from the typical uh, plastic uh, figures. The swords for the highest tier backers are already in production and you can see in our combat versus armor video how good they are. Another unique piece of art in collector's edition is going to be wood engraving print designed and handmade by a great artist in Factor. It's going to be very authentic medieval art done by the same techniques they used back in the time. So something quite unusual and unique as well. So you can see that a lot happened in the last few months. Uh, the game is finally coming together. We will have internal beta in a few weeks and then we will be just polishing, polishing, tweaking, optimizing, testing, polishing and optimizing again until it's ready for release. Uh, they say that the last 20% are as hard as previous 80, which is true. So keep your fingers crossed, we are gonna need it. Thank you for all your great support and see you soon.